let me go and find that low down dirty man that named me Sue. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Y'all know what? I don't even want to deal with this one. Okay, but I'm just going to make mention of it because it is a sick story. Um, because, again, one of the most selfless acts you can do is become a parent. And a lot of us shouldn't even done it. If you want to keep it real, a lot of us are very selfish. Um, even in our um, presentation of our family, we wanted somebody to love us unconditionally. Your child is not supposed to come here to fulfill your needs. That child comes to birth for you to fulfill every need for them. And not too many people are able to do that. You can see what's happening right now with Master P. Uh, Big Percy and Little Percy. And I know they love each other. He's been there every step of the way. But I heard him say in an interview he was an 18-year-old father. How can a kid that's 18 years old in this society, in this climate, um, be an appropriate father? I mean, all the stimuli, all the uh, temptation, everything is different, okay? It's different than it was in the 30s and the 20s. and You understand what I'm saying? So when I think about Nick and his family, all I can tell you, bro, is when they get of size, you better hope something take you because they going to whop your ace. Mark my words. If y'all think that what Romeo was doing is out of order, what you think is going to happen to Nick when they all start realizing that they the same age, all this stuff, and they going to be ready to want Nick's ass. Okay? And so if you having children so to help you with your lupus situation, then that's still a selfish act. And the children aren't being born for them. They're being born for Nick, for his purpose, which, again, is not a selfless act. Now, I can't say what's going on in that household and what's making these grown-ass women. I mean, well, yes, I can. Because, see, women love security. We need security. We got to have it. And with that mantra and with that mindset you put that with somebody that has um, proven and have contractually uh, agreed to take care of you and your children as long as they buy him or whatever damn arrangement they got then I can understand why it's happening and so, in terms of how I look at them, I look at them not as, and well, I don't even want to talk about Nick's women and his choice of them. But I will say this, Nick, you going to, you, you, okay, boy, let's move on to the next story. How many of y'all know that Steven Tyler, okay, um, cause I know a lot of y'all love him, rock star. Um, but he's accused of sexually assaulting a 16 year old girl in the 70s. Now, the victim's lawsuit claims she was the teen bride of this in the singer's memoir after he convinced her mom to grant him guardianship. Now, you see, this is what I'm talking about. These these you know women doing things. Um, like that. You know, she put herself in a position where, hell, she wanted to be taken care of. She needed some security. So she sold her daughter off to Aerosmith star Steven Tyler. So now there's this lawsuit. So I, Because I feel like if Bill Cosby got to go to jail, he got to go to jail. Okay? But R. Kelly in jail, he go to jail. Yes, 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 
you blackballed Jerry Lee Lewis. Okay? You should have blackballed Elvis Presley. So you're going to have to get it right. So you got to go back and you got to get Steven Tyler. Because what he did to Julia Holcomb, I wonder if she any relationship to Corey Holcomb. <laughs> Anyway, in the final days of California law that temporarily lifts the statute of limitations for such claims under the look back window. So she didn't put her um, a, a, a lawsuit in before that statue was lifted. She, identif she didn't identify him as Stephen. She just said a defendant doe. But it quotes directly from Tyler's 2011 memoir describing the relationship. The singer wrote, she was 16, she knew how to nasty, and there wasn't a hair on it. <sighs> Tyler wrote in the book, which names the girl as Diana. Holcomb also previously spoken about her allegedly relationship with the rock star. The lawsuit alleges that she met him in 1973, shortly after her 16th birthday, when she attended an Aerosmith concert in Portland, Oregon, and returned to Tyler's hotel room after the show. The suit claims that after discussing her age, Tyler performed various acts of criminal sexual misconduct upon her. What we gonna do about that, people? What we going to do? Are we going to go after and grab Steven Tyler for his inappropriate relationship with this child? I did a video about this before. Okay? Um, now, a representative for Steven Tyler didn't make any um, uh, uh, responses to any of these requests for comments, especially from the Daily Mail. I will tell you this. Steven Tyler, it's your turn. It is your turn. Cosby got to go to jail. You got to go to jail. I'll see y'all in the next video. Just irresponsibility. <laughs> and I can't say nothing about Steven Tyler. Because actually this has been going on since time began. So I don't know. It seems like y'all doing a good job of going back and uh, um, bringing up old uh, situations and old cases. and Maybe y'all should deep a dig a little deeper and put some of these other old cases to, uh, uh, to jail. And, 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 you know, exploit them the way you're doing these sexual crimes. That'd be, I mean, I don't have no problem with it. I just want to know how far you're going to go back. Because we could start with, you know, who was that Strom Thurmond that had the black daughter working for him all that time? She was really his daughter. He, she looked just like him. But he's sitting up there, the racist, most racist man. Her mother was molested by him. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's don't go there. I'll see y'all in the next video. I want to know what y'all think about uh, Steven Tyler and Nick Cannon's ass. Because uh, I heard he got some more kids on the way. But that's neither here nor there. Them kids is going to get him. Tell me your opinion, and I'll see you in the next video.